Welcome back. Your dreams were your ticket out. Welcome back to that same old place you laugh about. WTF at the bitter end. Whiskey. Today's fact. Ooh, ooh. Did you catch what I did there? In this episode of WTF, we'll see what we can learn about Glen Roths, a Speyside distillery. Established in 1879 and built by James Stewart and Company, who also worked on McCallum, Glen Roths is located in, wait for it, Roths, Scotland, and sits adjacent to the Burn Roths. Burn is a term for a small river. Now, during construction, financial hardships ensued and work stopped until a local clergyman, William Sharp, stepped in and raised funds to complete the work. Not because he loved whiskey, but because he loved his community, and he knew that a distillery brought work to coopers, distillers, carpenters, warehouse workers. A distillery brought work to the community. Amen. Now, as we should all know, the spirits produced in distillation are a high alcohol liquid. And in addition to being able to get an individual intoxicated, even to the point of death if used too much, what else is high alcohol able to do? Think about the term for a Scottish word for a small river. Yep, you got it. Burn. And that's exactly what has happened to Glen Roths. Not once, not twice, not thrice, but at least four times with explosions in the still room and warehouse fires, which offered an opportunity for the company to rebuild, remodel, and expand. Today, Glen Roths is well known for the unique bottle shape, almost a holy hand grenade of Antioch, short, bulbous, and round. If you were blindfolded in hand of the bottle of Glen Roths, you would know it, quite like a Glenfiddich and their signature triangle shape. The range of whiskies produced at Glen Ross are often matured in European and American oak casks that are sherry seasoned in Jerez, Spain. Fun fact, Glen Ross is one of the few distilleries to have their own cooperage, a barrel cask making operation with their own experts. Fun fact number two, all Glen Roths are natural color, only gaining their color from the barrels they are aged in. Glen Roths released a series of both age statement whiskies and no age statement whiskies, and like all single malts, it is important to read the label to understand what the distillery believes the experience will be like. The Glen Roths is a favorite brand around here. And that's whiskey, today's fact, the water of life. Oh yeah. Yeah.